brewers. Had a little accident with this here Festa kit. Fell off the back of the truck, so I thought, you know, she's ugly, but we still love her. Let's do another experiment. Welcome to Fuff. So we're gonna mix in a little bit of lactose with this oatmeal stout. And then once it's all fermented up, we're gonna take it, we're gonna split it between three of those uh, lovely ox bar kegs that I love so much. And one's gonna get creme de cacao, one's gonna get coffee maria, and one's gonna get <coughs> Swiss chocolate almond. Just some nice little stout flavors I think will be real fun. And then we're gonna bottle that shit up and maybe keep it around for a special occasion. I don't really see myself drinking that like every day, but fancy flavors, fancy times, right? Okay, so make sure our valve is closed there. Got our brew bucket. Got our, oh, where's my purple thing? There it is. All right. So some of you commented on my last Festa video, keep the thing in the box and then try to pour it out of there. Me and Paul tried that and it was the biggest mess I've ever made with a Festa bag. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm just gonna keep going the way I've been going. So in this time we're gonna have a peek under the cap for some black stuff before we start. Don't want another mold versus yeast video. This one's looking good. Ooh, that's some nice smelling wort. I have done this brew on its own just by itself before. Nice little oatmeal stout. Oh, come on, enough of you. Somebody told me that this would work. Yeah, it didn't really work. Oh yeah, good enough. All right, we got it. Oh, we got our SO4. We're also, like I said, we're gonna put some lactose in here. Maybe sprinkling some lactose on will take this foam down. I don't know. Who knows? We're about to find out. helping. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what else? I probably could have tried some firm cap. It's like literally what it's for. All right, let me get that in there. So we already gave this a spritz, but we'll give it a spritz anyway. spray again as well. Basically, if you think you've used too much star sand, it's impossible. Oh, you know what really helps though? For fermenting things, fucking yeast. What it is with me and yeast. to the magic box. We'll see you in two weeks to package it up with our various distilling essences. And we're gonna have some fun. I really liked how that pina colada lager turned out. I am gonna do that one again. Just now that I've seen you know, the results, I think we can tune it up. But this is gonna be nice, big, full body. We got that lactose in there for that creaminess. I think it's gonna work really well with these flavors. Can't wait to try it. Hope you stay tuned for that. Don't get too fucked up. Hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Two weeks later. Hey Brewers, we're back. 
I've been waiting a while for this. We haven't really had a lot of time to get back and do this tasting. So if you remember, we made that Festa Brew oatmeal stout. Good quality stuff there from the folks over at Festa Brew. Then what I did, so we fermented it all in the one. Then we transferred it into three of our ox bar kegs here. We got our fancy little setup with our custom holders. Oh, okay, settle down. So what we've done, we split them into those three, and then we did three separate top shelf spirit, still, still spirits, essences. So we got creme de cacao, we got coffee maria, and we've got Swiss chocolate almond. Now all these, like I had a smell of the essences before I put them in there, damn, okay. So uh, let's get our fucking dark beer on with some, some essences. So we'll start with the creme de cacao. Let's have a little smell, all right? Oh, oh man. I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever had creme de cacao liqueur actually like on its own, but I like the name cacao, cacao, right? Let's give it a little sippy poo. A little subtle. I think I should have done a little bit more, but extra nice flavor on the top of there. You know what? You know what, I'm gonna double it up. I'm gonna double it up and grab a little syringe here. And we basically did a dose. The dosage rate was basically one millimeter. So one of these, one milliliter. So one of these little syringes per one of these cups is roughly what it worked out to be. So let's just double it up, see what happens. Which, you can get these little syringes and these little things. You could play with, I mean, there's about 55 of these glasses in a, in a 19 liter keg. You could try all the flavors if you wanted to. So another thing, if you're looking to experiment, let's just, we're gonna do this fancy thing. It's probably gonna foam over, but if you don't have nitro, watch this. Get, you can see that you'll be able to see the cascading. Oh, wow, that didn't work. Oops, fuck the cascading. I guess it's not the, if you, but anyway, if you don't have nitro and you have one of these where it's just pushing air, you can push air into it really fast and it'll give you that same effect like you're on nitro. Poor man's nitro. All right, so we doubled it up. Give it a little swishy, little swishy swish. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, we're gonna try the other ones. They're all the same dosage. So we'll try the other ones and see if we're gonna double them up too. But that is fucking good. Like, uh, I might do something like this. If I can get some big ones, I might do some big batches. Maybe big old, big old something like that for, for Fishmas time there later on in the year. Man, I am loving that. It's just, just enough. Like you could even, if you wanted to go crazy, you could even double that up and go four milliliters per little glass like this. Um, I was a little, I was a little, tentative because of that pina colada one I did was so strong, but I guess against all the subtle, like all the big, bold flavors, all those big dark malts that are in an oatmeal stout as opposed to in a very light lager, which is what we did with the pina colada, you know, that must have messed with it a little bit, or maybe this is just a more subtle flavoring. It's possible. Mm. All right, moving on. Now we got our coffee maria. Oh yeah, I smell it, but yeah, it's, 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 it's subtle. I think we might double this one up too, but. Definitely get the coffee. Definitely, but I'm gonna double this one up too. Give it a little stir. Little swizzle in your coffee, hmm? Very nice. Definitely more on the nose now. That's good. Yeah, it's still. So having said this now, with these, I might recommend even putting two into a keg 
as opposed to just one. I mean, you try it out, you be the judge, you let me know. Um, I think it's, again, just the flavor versus the stronger flavor of the oatmeal stout as opposed to like the pina colada experiment, which was in Skull's Light. Uh, excuse me. All right, moving on. Now we have our Swiss chocolate almond. Very, like I smelled all these. These things smell amazing. Like just absolutely love this stuff from Still Spirits. Wow, a little burpy around here. Excuse me. Oh wow, see that one? I'm getting the bang boom right off the hop. See, so you gotta play with these. Some are just a little more subtle than others, okay? So don't just assume. Because this one, just the one, just the one milliliter dosage per one of these little cups was, in my opinion, just perfecto. Very Swiss, I don't know. I don't know anything about the they got they got good good knives um, army knives skiing chocolate I don't fucking know nothing about Switzerland well man we haven't fucked up too much lately <laughs> we're getting all good things well I guess that beer thing like the fermenting big golfs was pretty fucked up eh if you haven't checked that one out, you fucked up. It was a complete disaster. I think it was pretty entertaining. But this, we won again. Hit that like and subscribe. Give me some more, like, uh, check out Still Spirits lineup if there's any things you'd like to see me try, you'd like to try yourself. Or if you have tried, let me know. Maybe I should have done, like, I maybe could have done some lactose in here, done a little more of a milk stout kind of a thing. I don't know. But moving on, we'll see you next, oh, we'll see you in two weeks. Don't get too fucked up. I know you missed me, I missed you, but I am just so fucking busy here in Manitoba in the summertime. We'll see you soon. Peace.